Well, the major program and the earliest of the entitlement programs that we tend to think of is Social Security, which comes about in the 1930s under Franklin Roosevelt. The idea was to make people think this is like an insurance program, so it won't seem like a radical break with American tradition. It's just an insurance program. It's just it's like an annuity or something. You're just making payments in, you get stuff out. So people to this day have this sense that either one of two things is happening, neither of which is true. Uh, one, that their money is going into some envelope with their name on it, and then they'll get that money back later or something. Or related to that, their money is going into an envelope and then invested somewhere and then returned to the envelope and sent back to them. None of that's true. What the government is doing is taking the money and spending it on current expenditures. And then when it comes time for people to collect their old age retirement money, where's the money going to come from if the government hasn't been keeping it and investing it for them? It's going to come from other people's payroll taxes. Something's got to give, and yet if you raise this as a concern, well, you're some kind of a crackpot, what's the matter with you, don't you know our wise overlords are in charge? It's, it's seriously dangerous, and no one's talking about it. Now, the second thing you would want to talk about is Medicare. Medicare's an even worse problem, it's even worse shape. If you combine Medicare, Social Security, those are the major unfunded liabilities. There's also uh, some uh, federal pension programs, but mainly it's that. Richard Fisher of the Dallas Federal Reserve calculates that the stream of income that would be necessary, that, that's going to come due over the years to pay for all this, is a hundred trillion dollars over and above existing tax revenue. If you divide that by household, it means every household, on top of what it already owes in its tax liabilities, will owe to make these payments possible to provide the health care for these people, to provide the old age retirement, are going to owe an additional $1.3 million per family of four. So we are now living in the age of the negative millionaire. Americans are now negative millionaires. If the program suddenly collapses, we'll all be on the street. So we might as well deal with it like adults right now, and no one will do it. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican, almost no one will even talk about the problem.